And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. One theme that I feel is completely underutilized in gaming is the Wild West theming. Regardless of how realistic it is or not, I love the movie, you know, spaghetti western type thing. And that's not often found in games. So I was very excited when I heard about this Flick 'em Up game. Now, flick them up, it comes in this nice wooden box. This is the deluxe version. It's the only version currently, although they may make another version next year. But this is a dexterity game with wooden components and things. And honestly, if you're going to buy a dexterity game like this, you really want to get a nice version anyway. So it comes in this wooden box. There's this outer cover, but you don't need that. The wooden box is all you need. And in this game, players are going to be split into teams, outlaws versus the uh, sheriff and his men and his deputies and just flicking discs at each other. Let me show you. For players to play this game, they're going to set up a scenario. The book outlines several scenarios, but you have your, you know, you can make whatever scenario you want. Each scenario will involve buildings. So there's different buildings. They have these wooden blocks on them to keep them kind of on the floor. Um, there's, you know, all different sorts of obstacles. We have these long wooden sticks here. There's, there's cacti that can be placed out. There's barrels. There's bales of hay. And so players are going to be doing this. Each player is also going to play a cowboy or cowboys. You split players up into two teams, the outlaws and the lawmen. Each cowboy has a hat to show what number they are. And that's just to keep help you keep track because over on the side, players will have this board here where they have a name of their cowboy with a possible special ability. If you're using that, it shows what weapons they have. And this also keeps track of their life points. And in this case, you can see the one guy is sheriff here too. So that's helped keep track. And as people die, they actually go inside this box here <laughs> to remove them from the board. So players are going to be taking turns back and forth. And on your turn, you're going to take your cowboy and do two actions with it. Now, an action can be to move. So when you move, you're going to put a disc where your cowboy was. And you simply flick it with one finger. And that's where you move to. You then put your guy to the new spot. Now, when you flick it... If you hit anything, so let's say I flick it and I hit this bale of hay, I have to go back to where I was. Uh, so this is to keep you from flicking like a maniac and try to do some crazy move. If you hit anything, then you are you have to go back. If you flick between in, into the front door of a building and go through it, you are now inside that building. And there's sometimes actions that will go inside a building. If two people from different sides are in the same building, then those players will have a duel, which I'll show you in a minute. The other thing you can do is you can shoot. So um, there are these bullet tokens. You just put it next to your guy. You can go up to a bullet token away, flick it at someone else. If you knock that person over, that person is going to take a wound and they stay knocked over until it's their turn to be activated and they get up. So you can't shoot the same person multiple times uh, in a row. But every time you shoot them, they take a wound. And your shots can do all sorts of things. If you're in a building, you know, you can even shoot out of a building. You just have to uh, go behind the building and shoot through the door. Well, there I missed. Come on. Come on, guy. Die. Yeah. Shot you. Now, after you're done taking your actions, what you'll do is you'll flip your hat to the other side. This keeps track of who's gone on each turn. So it will be a blue turn and a red turn. And that is kept track here in the town hall. You'll start at a certain time, and each time it will show you what color turn it is until the round ends. Now, I mentioned a duel. Duels are a lot of fun. With a duel, you have like a certain spot that you'll have near the board. Okay, you just designate it as a duel spot. And so each person will take a turn shooting at the other person. If they miss, the other person moves one space closer to them, and then they shoot back. And if they miss, the other guy moves one space closer to them, and then they shoot back. Yeah. So that will go until someone wins the duel. And then you can kick them out of the building. And there's all sorts of other things. You can see here, there's dynamite. You can flick dynamite at somebody. 
and when it lands, it could knock people over, but wherever it lands, if someone's within a movement token of it, it explodes and takes them out. There's, um, there's all sorts of, there's a one scenario that I like a lot, it includes someone getting hung. So you have a person here and you have some neutral people, right? So I can say, oh, we're hanging her. She's standing on the barrel. And the object of this is to knock her off the barrel so that she doesn't get hung. Or you have hostage situations. Well, I guess maybe I just shot her dead, but whatever. But so there's all different scenarios you can set up. One scenario involves a thousand outlaws. Outlaws only have one hit point each. The other players have to see how many outlaws they can take out before they're overwhelmed. And then each side switches and, you know, whoever has more lawmen survive the encounter is the, is the winner. And there you have people robbing a bank and carrying money around. There's a whole pile of different tokens that players can put on those boards that they can use um, to show that they're carrying money or hit points, etc. And that's basically it. Oh, one last cool thing I need to show you. There's also a rifle. If you have a rifle, you'll use this piece when flicking. It kind of gives you a nice straightaway to, sh to show the aiming of this. Now, this is probably not the best table to flick things on, but uh, this is what I'm using right now. And so whoever wins the scenario, whatever the goals are of the scenario, is the winner of the game. Now, as I said, this theme is very underutilized. I wish there was more cowboy shoot 'em up games, but I'll tell you this. This game is fun, F-U-N, fun. I'm telling you, I love it, I really do. It has a very strong vibe to it. I mean, I play cowboy music in the background, this whole um, shooting the, the discs at each other, it just works. In fact, it's probably the best Western theme game there is. It's crazy, it's a, I know some people like, oh, dexterity game, flicking discs. But I mean, I tell you, I love Pitch Car, a great racing game. I love Catacombs, a dungeon ex exploration game. There's something about flicking, but with the shoot 'em up it works well. The bullets can ricochet. If it hits the guy and they don't fall over, it just grazes them, it doesn't do anything. It might knock their hat off. I mean, and it, I don't, I, it just, the theme really comes through. And it comes with this big scenario booklet here. And in this scenario book, we get 10 different scenarios, and each scenario will introduce possibly some additional rules, like the dynamite, or handing things off, or the duel, or the rifle, or hostages, um, or the gallows, you know. There's different rules that will be added, and you can play these things in order, and it gives you a, a sort of a story uh, to the game. But again, you can kind of make your own scenario too, or play optional rules, you know, as long as you are playing essentially a scenario that everyone thinks is fun. You can just set it up and make up your own Western story. But the dexterity element helps out so much. Like I said, it shows the ricochet of bullets. When you, you hit a barrel instead of a person, it really simulates them hiding behind a barrel. It's hard for me. I, I've always wanted this Wild West shoot 'em up game, right? Where people are hiding behind barrels and stuff. And there are some games that kind of do that, bang and things like that, but they never really, you know, they never really bring out that theme. Here you have this strong visual effect. You have, you know, when you go into a building, you fight the other person and then you kick them out of the building and I, we just can see that, or you run into the building and then it's basically like they're sitting there going, hello, boom, and with the shotgun. Love, love all the aspects of this game. Really strong Western theme, as I said. Highly recommend it from me. Flick them up. Dice Tower Judgment into my collection. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.